Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, truth of all ages, Hollywood show now here. About to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, I'd like to point out that I'd also like to thank Cart for the little tweet while I was recording a Gods of Rome video. Injustice Gods Among Us patch 2.11 has been released on August 3rd, ahead of the August 4th estimated time. Thank you NetherRealm developers for not sharing that information. Worst heroes ever introducing some very bad people who can do some good. Play a Suicide Squad Deadshot, a brand new character in Injustice with unique fighting moves and all new special moves. He is joined by Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and two new versions of the Joker from the Suicide Squad movie. You guys have talked about one Joker as you've seen on the previews and 1400 and 1400 is amazing. We have not seen the second one in action, which leads me to believe that one of them is in a multiplayer season. And as you can see by reading it, it is true. So Suicide Squad the Joker and... Suicide Squad The Joker Unhinged. The Suicide Squad Joker Unhinged will be available in all an all-new multiplayer season. All other characters will have distinct challenges and be available for purchase in the store. Meaning that there's going to be early access as well as the early access stuff for that. So you'll have two chances to get them. Obviously a full challenge too. As part of the Suicide Squad event, we're offering a daily gold booster pack from August 5th for a limited time for only 100 power credits. That's an extreme discount and it carries the chance at earning all the Suicide Squad characters. Go ahead, do your worst. For anybody that has an idea of what this is, it's just like the Injustice 2 pack, so be prepared to airplane mode this pack in order to get the results that you want. So gear up the bad guys. New legendary gear is available. Earn Katana Soul Taker Sword gear in a new multiplayer season. Three new companion and legendary gear cards. Diablo, Enchantress, and Killer Croc are all available in survivor mode. So there are now three new gear items in survivor mode. And survivor mode is mo now more accessible than ever. Get in there and assemble your Suicide Squad to its max potential. Forget patience. For those of you who just can't wait to collect the full Suicide Squad and in Injustice. We offer the worst heroes ever bundle. The booster pack contains Suicide Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Joker. All promoted to tier 1 and level 30. It contains all their rare gear. An additional epic gear piece. And 8 Star Labs Augment Cards, best value in the store. So basically, Injustice Gods Among Us is hurting for money, and this is their way to try to get some money out of the players for those that can't wait. And I can assure you that a lot of people are going to be buying this. Now, I have been in contact with NetherRealm, and hopefully I will be getting all of this stuff for free so I can actually test it out beforehand. And we'll actually see how that comes into play. But we're going to see what changed in Survivor, and also what is new as soon as this updates. So... Stay tuned, we'll be with you as soon as this is done. Alright, so the update is completed. We're going to go into the game. Alright, so 100 power credits, buy the special edition booster pack once a day for a limited time. So, day one actually gives you a 357 revolver. So, it looks like they've changed the login bonuses now. So, for day one, you'll get a 357 revolver, which is a rare gear item. Day two, you will receive 10,000 credits. On day three, you will receive 20 alliance credits. On day 4, 2 augmentation cards. On day 5, 20,000 power credits. On day 6, you will get the Joker's rare gear item. On day 7, you will receive 20 red shards. On day 8, 30 energy. Day 9, 40,000 credits. And day 10, you will actually get a gold Insurgency Joker for free. So as you can see, we get a free 357 revolver. And you can see that there is the Suicide Squad Deadshot Early Access Bundle which contains Suicide Squad Deadshot, Ski Mask Gear, Support Cards, and 100,000 Power Credits. So, there's the daily bonus pack for a chance of random mind record, including a chance for the new Suicide Squad, the Joker, Harley Quinn, or Deadshot. So, there's also the Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, 357 Revolver Gear, Support Cards, and 100,000 Power Credits. And the Worst Ever Heroes Bundle gives for 99. And all promoted to Tier 1 and Level 30. So the Suicide Squad, the Joker Early Access Bundle is also available. Uh, pistol, gear, support cards, and 100,000 power credits. So in the gear lockers, we can also try and get that. There's also a Villain Starter Pack, which contains Gold Doomsday, Insurgency of the Joker, and Regime Bane Silver. Joker's gear and augments for the Star Labs. So we can also try and get the gear locker and show off the card itself. And you can see there's a new UI in the background. So 16 hours left on the Apocalypse Dark Side Challenge as I have finished that. Okay. 
And the Joker Unhinged is a new multiplayer card, and the stats are pretty good. It looks to be about 1,400 damage and 1,300 health. Passive ability is unhinged. The Joker can't wait to show you his toys. A powerful random effect will occur on his special one. After Joker defeats an opponent team member, he drives them insane, and they will fight for you with reduced health. Can be triggered twice if using a team of three Suicide Squad characters. So, those of you guys that remember Dark Empress Katana, it works kind of like that. But, being able to use it twice with the Suicide Squad synergy is pretty cool. It's kind of weird that this Joker also has tattoos. And there you also see a little background of Deadshot. Apocalypse Dark Side is obviously next. We're going to take a quick look into Survivor. And we're going to see how that goes. We should probably also look at the leaderboards too. So we're going to put in Arkham Knight Batman. We're going to throw in Raven. We're going to throw in Killer Frost as well. So we're going to put these two cards in Survivor mode. So we got Unpromoted Killer Frost and we have Raven. Raven. So Raven, we don't need fourth world gear on. So we're going to sort by highest gear score. We're going to use Rosh Ghul Scimitar. It looks like they actually put the capital letters on stuff now. It used to all be capital letters, so it looks like they actually took the time to do that. So, we got Rosh Ghul Scimitar. We're going to use the, the, world, the Gauntlets of Azrael. And we're also going to use a Damage Gear and a Blade of the War God. We can swap that out Batman. later on for Arkham Knight Batman. We're going to go all funsy mode with the League of Assassins, the Depth Knives, Batman. Ibistick, and the Lexcorp Gauntlets. Killer Frost. And Killer Frost, we are going to throw on two-piece fourth world just because we can. Killer Frost. So we're going to create our team. So we still have 22 tickets, so I can assure you that you can bank tickets still, which is pretty good. Alright, so we're going to spin the wheel, and I'm not sure if we're going to get any difference with like augment cards and stuff. So there is Green Shard. Begin. So they did not fix the three Wayne Tech abilities. And you're dealing with Antimatter, Sinestro, and Wave 1. That's actually new. So it looks like they did change Survivor Mode a little bit. Doomsday is eliminated. Arkham Origins Batman is in. Winged Avenger blocked for about 20,000. And down goes Batman for the victory in our opening Survivor fight. 8,138 XP. And we receive three green shards. It looks like the rewards have not changed. And it looks like we're going to get a gear item. No, we're not. We're going to get some blue shards. I was very excited for the potential of that. We have a Silver Nightwing. And we're just going to wipe out Nightwing here. Green Lantern comes in. He's pretty much gone as well. We've got a Bronze Harley Quinn. And we're going to go off an Explosive Battering. We did LexCorp Gauntlet heal. Down goes Harley Quinn for the victory in the second fight. 8,164 XP. And we're going to take this Survivor match up to about Wave 5, and that way we can use 24 to 25 tickets and see if anything has been rotated in yet. So we're going to get double credits this fight. And we're also going to take a look at the rewards for the new multiplayer season, which we are going to have to be working on. Luckily, I got the day off, so you'll be seeing some multiplayer farming on Twitch tomorrow after I do a few Gods of Rome videos. So down goes Scorpion. Wonder Woman comes in and gets stunned. That's really good for us. Keep in mind we have Killer Frost in there to dampen power. We got the explosive battering. Get rid of Wonder Woman. And we're going to go off the Soul Crush Crypto Lex Luthor Eliminate for the victory in the third fight. 8,190 XP. And we get 2,880 credits. So we're going to get double credits again.
begin. So we missed the damage on the battering. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Guys do have considerably more health, but we also missed the battering. Down goes Teen Titan Cyborg. Red Sun Wonder Woman is in next. Keep in mind the opponents have a lot less power generation because of Killer Frost. Wonder Woman eliminated. We're going to get in Raven because Lex Luthor is almost at a bar. We're at two bars. We're going to go off the Soul Crush and Lex Luthor eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 8,216 XP. Alright, so we're in fight five. We're gonna have 24 tickets available. I'm not sure if the new stuff actually rotated in, and again, we barely missed the gear. Begin. So again, this will be the last fight that we actually do in this little Survivor demonstration. Obviously, we can go a lot further as we've usually been farming through fight 11, no problem. Since we've been using Raven, that's been maxed out. Quickly goes up to triple damage. We're going to go off another explosive battering and get rid of Boss Solomon Granny. Batman heals the full. Nightwing blocks, man. We're going to go off the Soul Crush and get rid of Nightwing for the easy victory in the fifth fight, as none of these guys are really taking damage. 8,242 XP. Alright, so we have 24 tickets available. We're going to cash out here. So it'll be 24 tickets. And we're going to try to land on Augments. Actually, I think, yeah, we're going to land on Augments. See if there's anything new. We get a gear item, we get a Mark of the Tiger to start off. And we get medium damage. We also get major XP. Now I've said that they need to have major XP actually cause you to go over the level cap. There's our first ha ha ha, which is very annoying to see. So we get a major crit damage augment, that's really good. And for gear, we get a one-star combat training. We also get major XP with pretty much full augments. Major health is really good. We also get another major XP. A force field device. A Diablo companion card, which appears to be a new set. So we get a four-star item. I'm not sure if this is actually a set. So that's pretty cool. We get minor damage. Major XP. And we get our second ha 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 out of 14 tickets. We get major crit damage. 8% is always good. We get minor crit damage. So we should be able to get Wonder Woman to 250. Major crit chance is really good. So we got some nice upgrades for Arkham Knight Batman. There's an Enchantress Companion card. So we got our second four-star new gear item from this set. And there's major crit damage. We get a blue ring. We get medium crit damage. We get a scream of sticks, which is Nightwing's rare gear item. We also get a battle staff. And for our last one, we get a pistol, which is the Joker's rare gear item. So, very happy to see that we got two new gear items. So the Diablo Companion card is a four-star gear item. After tag in, apply shield that returns 20% dot if attacked by special. Shield lasts longer with each Suicide Squad teammate. And evolved has a 5% chance to apply dot on enemy when crit received. That's a really interesting gear item. To fuse it, it costs four of every shard and 1,000 credits. So, and it also increased the shield that returns 21% dot if attacked by special. And I'm not really sure how that works. We might be able to test that in a fight. And Shattered it will give you 20 of each and one purple shark. Now this is not actually a set item. So I'm really curious on how that works. The Enchantress Companion card, after any special attack, skulls fly at the enemy dealing 1% additional damage each. 
and evolved each skull deals 2% life drain. This gear item seems really cool. You can also use it along with the Imba Stick and the League of Assassins of Death Knife. So after any successful special attack and dealing 1% additional damage each. So I'm really not sure what that is. And each skull deals 2% life drain. That seems to be pretty cool. And shattering it again gives you 20 of each and one purple shard. So I wish we had some green shards. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to open up some gear lockers. So in the first gear locker we receive protection amulet, power symbol, and combat training. And this looks really weird because they definitely changed the way gear works. So in the second gear locker we receive prototype weaponry, blue ring, and dark sword. In the third gear locker we receive Kryptonite Shard, Battle Staff, and Kryptonite Shard again. In the fourth gear locker, we receive Protection Amulet, Azerothian Cloak, which is Raven's rare gear item, and another Protection Amulet. In the fifth gear locker, we receive An Icebound Necklace, which is Killer Frost rare gear item, Protection Amulet, and Strange Elixir. In the sixth gear locker, we receive Two Battle Staffs and a Dark Sword. In the seventh gear locker, we receive Rosh Ghoul's Dagger and Med Kit. That's going to be really good for shards. In the eighth gear locker, we receive Shot Gloves, 357 Revolver, and a Venom Harness. So we got two rare gear items out of that the Jokers and Banks. In the ninth gear locker, we receive a Ski Mask that actually looks like Deadshot's rare gear item, Cryo Pistol, and Med Kit. And in the final gear locker, we receive Kryptonite Shard, Strange Elixir, and Battle Staff. So out of 10 gear lockers, we actually got a Rational Ghoul Scimitar and a Ski Mask, which I believe is Deadshot's gear item. So we got three new gear items already. The Ski Mask, 8% damage boost to Special 1. Deadshot has a Power Drain chance on Special 2. And Evolve disables enemy specials, 15% chance on Special 1. So for example, if you're using... Arkham Knight Batman, or if you're using my setup with Red Sun Superman, this gear item could be interesting. You could also go the more power generation route by using the Superman gear item from the Dawn of Justice, which is the Clark Kent glasses, and you would have a better chance of disabling enemy specials. Is it worth actually using Deadshot's gear item? I'm not really sure. It doesn't appear to be anything that's super impressive because when you have a damage boost and a power drain not on special one and two and i believe the joker's gear item is kind of like that i know somebody else has a power drain on special two i really think gear items that are geared like that really suck now i'm not sure if there's a fourth companion card to go along with that we're gonna have to try more survivor and see about that but really cool stuff once again the diablo companion card after tag and apply shield that returns 20 percent dot if attacked by special and evolved has a five percent chance to apply dot on enemy when crit received so unfortunately the Red Sun team will not be using this gear item because dots obviously don't work very well and goes up to 40%. So the Enchantress Companion card, this is the gear item that I think is going to be really badass. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our gear. And don't add me to groups on Instagram, I will not accept. So here we're going to try to upgrade our, our Kryptonite Shard. Because we have a shitload of them. So we're going to upgrade our Kryptonite Shard. We're going to spend some credits on this. That way we can try and max out. It looks like it's going to take a lot of green shards. So we might have to shatter that Rational Ghoul Scimitar first. I'm not exactly sure if bonus shards are actually still given. So we are going to be able to evolve it. Actually, we need more green shards. So let's take our extra Rational Ghoul Scimitar. And let's see if we still get bonus shards. 24, 24, 24, and 1. Yes, you do. So that's really good. So we have 85 green shards. Now let's try to upgrade the kryptonite shard. So it's evolved. We have a weaponized kryptonite. And a chance to disable enemy specials. Let's see if we have enough red shards. I highly doubt it. This is going to cost like 275,000 credits to max this gear. And it doesn't look like we're going to hit it. So we're going to have to shatter a little bit of gear. Probably need about 60 more shards. We did get some healing amulets, so that's really good. 
So we're going to shatter the four extras that we got. You can see a nice amount of green shards. Always try to max out your gear. It does cost some credits, but trust me, it's really worth it. Especially if you're going to be doing survival with the new gear in Survivor. Alright, so the weaponized kryptonite is maxed out. We have a lot to shatter. So you get 412 and you also get purple shards. I really wish they gave you a way to convert purple shards. So a bonus of 23, so we got 35. That's going to be a big chunk of shards towards upgrading that new Enchantress gear. So we're back up to 204 green shards. And we did spend probably about a million credits so far on 10 gear lockers and fully maxing out this weaponized kryptonite so we can try to shatter it. So we're going to have about 600 green shards. Probably about 1,400 red shards. Green shards are always the one I need the most of. Now because that gear is also a 4 star gear and you're going to need a lot of shards to max it out. And we're going to try to max it out and then test it out using a couple scenarios including Antimatter Sinestro. Keep in mind we will be doing some Elite 7 videos over the next couple of days as we still have to get up Kandak Black Adam. Antimatter Sinestro and Justice 2 Superman. We will be upgrading those three for sure. So now that we have some shards, we're going to go and take the Enchantress Companion card and start upgrading it. So a thousand credits and four of each shard for the first rank. And 0.4% damage increase per skull. Now I'm not sure exactly how many skulls there is. So 2,000 credits and six of every shard. 3,000 credits, eight of every shard. That's a flat 0.4% increase, so it'll be like 5% damage, or something like that. So at rank 4, 4,000 credits, 10 of every shard. At rank 5, 5,000 credits, 12 of every shard. At rank 6, 6,000 credits, 14 of every shard. At rank 7, 7,000 credits, and 16 of every shard. So we still have quite a few shards left. At rank 8, 8,000 credits, 18 of every shard. At rank 9, 9,000 credits, 20 of every shard. And at rank 10, 10,000 credits, 24 of every shard. So to evolve it, you're going to need 60,000 credits, 15 red, blue, and green shards, and 5 purple. And each skull does 2% life drain. So Enchantress Companion card evolved that sounds very generic. So 4 of every shard at the first rank. And each skull adds 1.8% life drain. So it looks like you're going to get 20% life drain from each skull. So having that upgraded is a really big deal. So at rank 2, 10,000 credits, 6 of every shard. At rank 3, 15,000 credits, 8 of every shard. At rank 4, 20,000 credits, 12 of every shard. And life drain going up very quickly. At rank 5, 25,000 credits, 20 of every shard. Rank 6, 30,000 credits, 28 of every shard. At rank 7, 35,000 credits, 36 of every shard. At rank 8, 40,000 credits, 48 of every shard. At rank 9, 45,000 credits, and 60 of every shard. And fully upgraded 50,000 credits and 72 of every shard. So the Enchantress Companion Evolved is already maxed out. So after any special attack, skulls fly at the enemy dealing 10% additional damage each. How many skulls we're about to find out and each skull does 20% life drain. Now this is a really good substitute for the left court gauntlets if you're using Arkham Knight Batman. That's also a way you can just do even more damage and it's just stupid crazy. So we're going to go into bonus battle 6. We're first going to test out in the mirror match. We're going to throw in Batgirl. We're going to throw in Regime Green Lantern. And we're going to throw in Antimatter Sinestro. Actually we should throw Regime Green Lantern Sinestro. in first. So Antimatter Sinestro. We are going to use the highest gear score. We're only going to use two piece League of Assassins. And we're going to use the... Enchantress Companion card evolved. Sinestro. Bad so Batgirl, girl, we're going to gear up with some damage gear because we're definitely going to need it. So we're going to use the Rosh Al Ghul Scimitar. Blade of the War God, and we're going to play it safe with the Bad knife collection. Alright, so in our first test fight, we have Regime Green Lantern, Batgirl, and Antimatter Sinestro. Begin. 
Turbine Smash blocked for 2490, so now Antimatter Sinestro is in at two bars. Looks like skulls are surrounding him, that's pretty cool. So Death from Above blocked. So I'm not sure if the skulls are actually like abilities. That Death from Above knocks out Antimatter Sinestro, so talk about reverse karma there. So I have to be really careful here. We're gonna go off the High Wire Act and get rid of Antimatter Sinestro, so. We didn't really get to test out the skulls. I think we're going to have to do it on an easier battle. Because I'm not really sure how the skulls interact. So now at this point, it's pretty academic. Get rid of Batgirl. And you win the fight. We're probably testing out the skulls a little bit too much, so we couldn't really see what was going on. And we probably shouldn't use it on Antimatter Sinestro, but we can confirm that that still works. They did not change the card at all. Batgirl eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 2,553 XP, 1,950 credits. Alright, so in the next fight, we're going to throw in... Let's throw in Kandak Black Adam, because he's got some weird shit with his passive. Let us throw on... The same gear that we just used. Let's use the League of Assassins to deponize the Ibistic and Enchantress Companion Evolve. So in the second fight, we have two mystery opponents in Green Lantern. Now, I'm not really sure, again, how these skulls interact. There's the Electric Burst. Let's see how it does. I didn't see anything that showed... Life stealing. Looks like we did see a recovery there. <laughs> it looks like it fired out a little bit of damage over time to the opponent. Why do you <laughs> There's another electric burst. So it appears to be doing something as we're getting some life drains. I'm just not exactly sure how it's interacting at this point. Giving Kendak Black Adam a small heal as well. We got the electric burst. So there it looks like it does like three hits, and you also life steal some of the damage. It's very interesting. So it looks like the skulls hit a couple seconds after the special. And where that's really exciting is the fact that you can probably combo with that as well. I'm not exactly sure how. We could try to use somebody like Superman and just obliterate people. We're going to go off the high wire act and get rid of Wonder Woman. Now obviously there's a lot of internal testing. But since we got this new gear and I'm fully maxed out, I do want to run some tests with it. A second Grand Slam block. And we're going to get rid of Green Lantern for the victory in the second test fight. 3,837 XP, 4,620 credits. But I can definitely assure you this is going to be a really fun gear item. Because if you're used to using special ones, you're going to get a lot of value from that. Now we're going to throw in Arkham Knight Batman. We're going to see how this reacts with the Batarangs. So we're going to use the... Rash, or the uh, Boy, they changed the order of this. League of Assassins, the Dapnize, the Ibistic, and Enchantress Batman. Companion card Evolve. So now in the third test fight, we have Lobo, Regime Flash, and a Mystery Opponent. We don't need Batgirl and Antimatter Sinestro for this. Let's just use some garbage cards. So we already know Arkham Knight Batman is going to wipe these guys out. I really like the skull effect. So you can kind of see when they have the gear item equipped. Now how is this going to react? Wow, that did like 12,000 damage with Arkham Knight Batman. I can only imagine what it's going to do with some crit augments, too. We could actually throw some of the new augments on Arkham Knight Batman as well. And there was an Enchantress passive as well. So it looks like it tells you when you life drain, and yeah, that just makes Arkham Knight Batman even more annoying than he already is. 3,845 XP, 4,690 credits. Alright, so let's go into 
First off with Red Sun Wonder Woman, let's make sure her crit is maxed out before we use augments on Arkham Knight Batman. So we've got Red Sun Wonder Woman at 49 and 242, so a major crit damage will put her right at 250. So we need a minor crit chance, which I thought we got one. Looks like we only got damage, so we won't be able to go to 50, 250. It'll be 49 and 250. So we got one crit chance for Arkham Knight Batman, and we're going to throw that on him right now. So 172 crit chance and or damage and 5% crit chance. So now Arkham Knight Batman does have a small chance to crit. Batman. And we're going to take those damage augments for Red Sun Superman as we're going to continue Superman. to try to max out his damage. His health is maxed. So nearing that 50k mark. Superman. Alright, so in the third test fight we have, or in the fourth test fight, we have Sheik Ahmed Habibi, Regime Doomsday, and a mystery opponent. Begin. We're going to try to pause a few seconds again and try to see what this Enchantress and the Skulls do, and how they react when somebody gets knocked out. So it looks like the Skulls do fire a couple seconds afterwards, so you really don't want to spam right away. Doomsday is going to take some damage here. There's the Enchantress effect. And we're going to get rid of Doomsday. Superman comes in. And it looks like the Skulls wiped out Superman for the victory. So that's a really fun gear item because if an opponent is burning, you can actually use this gear item and just obliterate them. 3,853 XP, 4,760 credits. Batman. So once again, the Enchantress Companion card evolved. After any special successful special attack, Skulls fly at the enemy dealing 10% additional damage each. So I guess that's just the passive. And each Skull does 20% life drain. So now we're going to take a look at the second gear item, the Diablo Companion card. So after tag in, apply shield that returns 20% dot if attacked by special. So I'm not sure exactly how that works unless it's just like a heal. Shield lasts longer with each Suicide Squad teammate and a chance to apply dot on enemy when crit received. Obviously crit receives happen a lot more in multiplayer, so this could be a really good gear item for the Red Sun team, whereas the... Well... Uh, when crit received, this is actually a really bad gear item for the Red Sun teams, but it could be a good gear item for everybody else. So we're going to see if we can try to evolve this gear item as well. So after tagging, shield returns an additional dot. So Hawk Girl can definitely get some synergy from this as well. We'll probably use her in the example. So hopefully we have enough to actually evolve this. We won't actually test this one out max out because... I really don't like the gear item as much, although when we get the Suicide Squad characters, I might feel a little bit different. So Evolve, Chance to Apply Dot on Enemy when Crit received. I'm not exactly sure how the Crit will work. But at 5%, it doesn't seem like very much, although Shield returns 31% Dot if attacked by Special. might be pretty interesting. So obviously, it does also have Reverse Synergy with Killer Frost. Do not use this gear item when you're going with Killer Frost, as you won't get to use it as much. So we have it at plus five. We're going to try to go into a quick multiplayer matchup here. So we're going to do an online battle. And we obviously didn't do any of the season rewards last time. So Suicide Squad, the Joker Unhinged, has 1,400 damage, 1,300 health. So I was absolutely right on that. So you have to get in first place to actually get four. The top 1% does give you three. And it does go all the way to 5%. So I really expect this season to be really competitive. And bonus missions win 7 consecutive online matches, 10 matches, and knock out 7 enemy characters in online battle mode. So we're going to edit our team. And on our team, let's throw in Dawn of Justice Batman because I'm really curious on how that works. Um, let's not throw in any weaker cards. Let's throw in... We could go Green Lantern and Superman. I think we Wonder are... Woman. Or Wonder Woman. I think we're going to go that route. So we're going to use the Fourth World Godly Chestplate, the Helmet, and the Mace. Wonder Woman. 
Green and Green Lantern. We're going to use the two-piece LexCorp with Russell Gold Scimitar Batman. and Dawn of Justice Batman. We're going to throw both gear items on. I'm sure that's not the right way to use them. And we're going to also use... We're going to use... Uh, the Blade of the War God, so really have to rely on Enchantress Companion to heal, and I'm not sure if you do more damage with Special 2s or not. So we're going to try a three battle matchup with this team, and let's see how we do. I know this video is going pretty long, but we're going to see how we do on it. So in the first battle, we have Kevin 320 with not a whole lot of gear. Batman. Doesn't even look like anybody Scorpio. can crit on the team, so we're not going to see any Superman. crits here. And it looks Scorpion. like even Augments... Well, that ha Scorpion does have a little bit of crit chance, so we have to try to get, save him for last. Begin. So we got the Gotham Justice, and Dawn of Justice Superman will be eliminated easily. Let's see how these skulls interact. 6504 heal, that's pretty good. Let's get out. Let's see what this shield actually does, if we can tell. It's explosive battering block, there's a minor heal on that. So there appears to be the shield. I don't know exactly what it does. I think you have to receive a special. Doesn't look like it actually lasts very long, so that kind of sucks. Let's get rid of Batman. Unfortunately, he absorbs that. He evades out of the way. So Explosive Battering does heal, so he's got some healing on Special 1, even if it is Ghetto Gear. Flip Kick is blocked. Let's try to get him up to one bar. Alright, so there's that glowy thing. Is he going to use a Special? I haven't seen anything actually work. So there's the evasion. And he gets stunned. So we're going to go the Gotham Justice, Dawn of Justice, Batman eliminated. And we're going to see if we can get rid of Scorpion as well. The last shot does do a lot of damage. About 38,000. The skulls do pretty good work. Batman gets eliminated, but I really don't care. I'm going to get rid of Scorpion for the easy victory in the first fight. Twelve thousand four hundred eighty XP. Five thousand battle points, nine hundred credits. So in the second battle, we have Thyj going up against Arkham Origins Batman, Apocalypse Darkseid, and Arkham Knight the Arkham Knight. And he's got Lex Corp. A little bit of crit chance. Fourth world on the Arkham Knight. That's never a good sign. And what the hell gear is he using? Okay. It's not how you gear a Batman, bro. Begin. Back off. So the explosive battering evaded. That one is not. It hits for like 20,000. Take off the Gotham Justice. This should trigger the resurrection. Yes, it does. So Arkham Knight back in. Face it. You're done. So it looks like you have to be like tagged in for a couple seconds in order for the skulls to fly. So, you can't do a special and get out. You actually have to stay in the fight. An explosive Batarang. It looks like that caused a little burning effect, but it looks like it's not even doing any damage. But is that a permanent effect? No, it is not. So that ability is really weak. Should we actually try to take a shot? Yes, we are. Gotham Justice on Apocalypse Dark Side. Arkham Origins Batman takes a shot. Looks like the skulls do come in after you tag out. So I was actually wrong on that. And it also healed them while tagged out too, so that's some really interesting synergy, and it proves that I really like this gear, but the Diabolic one seems like a piece of crap. It might be better with Suicide Squad characters, as it might not work on other people. 
5,000 battle points, 900 credits. So in the third battle, we have Heo GDWBI going up against MetaHuman the Flash, Dawn of Justice Superman, and Dawn of Justice Batman. What is up with dealing with weaker cards? Is it because I'm not doing a seven battle matchup? Begin. Or did they actually change some of the logistics of multiplayer and make it truly random and not maxed out people every fight? So we got the Gotham Justice, uh, Dawn of Justice Superman. And once again, we're going to tag out and see how the Enchantress works. That's going to wipe out Superman, actually. That is awesome. Back off. Lightning Kick gets evaded. MetaHuman the Flash gets stunned, and we're going to get off the Shield Toss. MetaHuman the Flash eliminated. Face it. You're done. So we saw that the little burning effect from a special doesn't really do much. It is a little bit of a burn. Try again. So there's an evasion on the Gotham Justice. That's really good value. And we get a stun. So we're going to go off the explosive battery. That's going to do a little bit of damage. And we got off a stun. So we're going to go off the Guardian. It looks like the Enchantress also connected while he was stunned. So that's some pretty cool stuff. I really like this new gear item. I think it's a welcome addition to Injustice Gods Among Us, and I am really looking forward to using it in multiplayer. So if you haven't gotten that gear from Survivor, you need to be doing fights. Holy fuck, that gear item is cool. 12,480 XP. 8,750 battle points, 4,440 credits. Batman. So if you like this video on patch 2.11, getting two of the brand new cards in this update, as well as Deadshot's gear item, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And look forward to doing the first challenge tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!